The most racist city in America. A stigma residents and leaders in the city of Harrison, Arkansas are aware of and have been trying to eliminate for decades. Miss Arkansas 2022, Ebony Mitchell is from Harrison and she's only the fourth woman of color to be crowned in Arkansas. She, along with the mayor and others, spoke with our Gary Burton Jr. about their fight against race in Harrison. Riding on Highway 65 into Harrison, Arkansas, the city with the stigma of being the most racist city in America, this white pride billboard is what greets you into the city. I was definitely discouraged to see it. But drive just a little bit farther, and you'll see 2022 Miss Arkansas Ebony Mitchell. Now you get to be welcomed by a woman of color into the city of Harrison rather than something so hateful. Ebony grew up in Harrison, and since Miss Arkansas was a child, she's always noticed something was off in her town. I grew up around a lot of ignorance, uh, but I don't think I hold that against them just because they don't know. Several of my friends are terrified to tell people where they're from because they don't want that attached to their name. Ebony! She says that was the driving force behind her running for the crown to educate and change the reputation of her hometown. It's not only not true, it's such an opposite of what the truth is. Mayor Jerry Jackson says part of the city's racist reputation dates to the 1980s when Thomas Robb, the national director of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, moved to the area after replacing former Grand Wizard David Duke. Rob also pastors the Christian Revival Center just outside of Harrison. We still have the same people, same beliefs, same love for everyone, but because he's living out in the country somewhere, we become the most racist small town in America. In 2003, Harrison started the task force on race relations. Lane Ragsdale joined and helped with efforts to partner with the Martin Luther King Jr. Commission to literally bury racism. What we've been able to do in Harrison is to normalize the conversations around race. In the works of taking down unwelcoming billboards, Ragsdale and the city of Harrison have been successful with three out of four signs. The last one is on property that is owned by the family that is affiliated with the Knights Party or the Klan. So they own um, the land and they own the billboard and they are the only ones that are advertising on the billboard. The steps forward in Harrison seem to have been wiped away after this viral video of 24 people with negative reactions to a man holding a Black Lives Matter sign in Harrison back in 2020. It was so devastating to all of us because we didn't believe that was our people. So the mayor put together a team to locate the people in the video. He says only three people were confirmed to be from Harrison and two of them claimed to have been set up. But I did talk to one and he said, I'm proud of what I said. So, you know, and, and one's not a good thing, but it's a whole lot different than 24. I think there's always gonna be a lot of work to be done just because of the stain that Harrison has on it. But like the dream and dedication of becoming the queen of the natural state, taking five times to finally win, the mission of eliminating the stigma of being the most racist city in America continues until victory is achieved. As much as I worked to be Miss Arkansas, I think Harrison will continue to work to be a better place and a more inclusive place for all. And